there. So let's start with the first thing you want to learn, and that's holding L2 to initiate this post-up stance. And as you can see here, it's still reasonably within post range. So this is high post range, and this enters you in a post-up stance. But if you move further away, and you ask for the ball and you hold L2, it enters you into a protect the ball stance. So that's different. So in this case, so let's see, RJ passes me the ball. I'm in three point range and this is not uh, a post up stance and I can't execute my post up moves from here. Okay. So let's start with the high post. So I initiate L2 and the first thing I want to teach is from this position, you can pivot towards your four basic directions using your left stick. So if I, while holding L2, if I press the left stick to the right, this gives me a face up to my, to my right. Okay. If I press the left stick to my left, this gives me a face up to the left. If I press the left stick up while holding L2, this gives me a uh, pivot facing the basket. And in this case, what I'm doing is a jab step and pressing L2 and holding L2 and pressing left stick down gives me a uh, pivot to the backside. So again, from here, I can pivot to my right pivot to my left, uh, pivot towards uh, facing the basket, and pivot away from the basket. So those are your four basic directions. Again, receiving the ball, holding L2, and pressing the left stick in the four basic directions gives you options. The second thing you can do from a stationary position of the post is initiate your jab steps. Or your fakes in this case so I'm facing the left side and if I press the right stick to the left this gives me a jab step pressing the right stick to the right gives me a, a fake spin pressing down uh, pressing down on the right stick gives me another jab step same as pressing up and again holding L2 while holding R2 gives you more aggressive jab steps. Same as in our jab step video. Okay, so the next thing you want to know is that from these post-up positions, you can combine the, the pivots using your left stick with right stick jab steps. So basic. And in this case, while I'm holding L2 after I pivot, Pressing the right stick to the left gives me this uh, create space motion where LeBron is uh, using his arms to create space. Like pressing up on the right stick while in this protect motion gives you different jab steps and options. Okay. Again, this is the left stick. When you move around like this, this is pivoting. And right stick gives you your jabs and your spin fakes. So how I use this is I want to combine these moves to create options and opportunities to create space. So for example, as I receive the ball in the high post and I enter my post-up motion, if I pivot to my right, I can launch to my right and enter any of our basic moves that we've executed before. Again, if I pivot to my left, I can explode and go for a driving motion. So again, any of these moves can chain into an explosion. So let's say I pivot to my right. There. If I pivot to my right, I can explode from a driving to a driving position towards my right. If I pivot to my left, I can explode to a driving position towards my left. So basics. Uh, another thing you can do is from a pivot, let me execute that, sorry, from a post pivot position, launching the opposite direction gives you a spin explosion. So here, if I can show this, okay. So from here, I initiated a pivot 
to my right side and then I exploded to my left side and that gives you a spin again pivot to my right explode to my left and how you explode is by holding R2 and letting go of L2 while you're pressing the left stick towards the direction you want to go in so in this case again I pivot to my right hold R2 and then let go of L2 as I am holding the left stick towards a certain direction so again these are complicated moves but it follows the basic principles of explosions so pivot to my right hold R2 and hold while I'm holding L, L while I'm holding the left stick to the left I let go of L2 as I'm about to explode again it's complicated best to execute these moves in practice there you go okay now the next moves you want to learn are your uh, basic drop steps so from the high post position if I tap square while holding the left stick towards the baseline and in this case uh, the, the left stick towards the baseline is uh, the, the holding right on the left stick that gives you a drop step and the drop step animation is different whether you are in the high post or in the low post so in the high post it gives you a a fake towards the middle dribble and then you reverse then you can enter a shot while if you're closer to the basket it gives you a traditional drop step towards a hook shot your other option is to hop towards the paint and in this case I'm holding the left stick while I'm posted up holding the left stick to the left towards the middle and then tapping square gives you a hop again the basic motion is tapping square and holding the left stick towards the left or to the right and it will depend largely uh, in this case if I'm on the left side of the floor uh, towards the baseline would be holding left so there you go and another thing you can do is step back and that's executed by holding the left stick down or away from the basket and tapping square so those are your four uh, your three basic moves for creating space the drop step the hop step and the step back executed by holding the left stick in any of the basic directions and then tapping square and there are variations to your post hops and this is by holding the left stick at a downward diagonal direction and then tapping square as you can see there that's a different motion from the step back it's both a step back and a hop shot and how I executed this is by holding the left stick at a seven o'clock position while tapping square it gives you a post step back jump shot holding the left stick at a five o'clock position while tapping square gives you a post hop away from the basket so again from your basics your drop step your hop step you can execute your more advanced and the larger larger space creating hop steps by holding the left stick at a diagonal position either five o'clock or seven o'clock and then tapping square so it's a very powerful tool in terms of creating space but you're gonna have to use somebody who has a very good um, attribute for cre uh, for shot creation and and post scoring in order to execute these moves okay okay next uh, is I want to go into the series of shots that you can make from a post up position and while holding L2 and not holding the right the left stick in any direction pressing and holding the right stick to the left or to the right gives you a well if you're close enough it gives you a hook shot In this case it's giving me a fade away but if I'm close enough 
yeah it will give it just giving me the fade away but in this case pressing and holding l2 while flicking the right stick to the right should give you a oh yeah that's what that's what that's my error in execution i should be holding the right stick up and to the right or up and to the left in this case that's an 11 clock o'clock position or a one o'clock position yeah because pressing and holding the right stick while you're in the post up at a three o'clock position or a nine o'clock position gives you your post fadeaways okay pressing and holding the right stick down also gives you a post fade away okay next is uh, the post layup and this is done while as you are moving towards the basket holding the right stick in any direction gives you your post layup as you are moving towards the basket there you go moving towards the basket There you go. Okay, the next moves you want to execute, you do it by holding L2 and R2. Okay, and this gives you options. Okay, if you press and hold the right stick while holding L2 and R2 at a one o'clock position, this gives you a shimmy, post shimmy hook. And how that differs from your traditional hook shot is that the post shimmy hook it gives you a, a shimmy fake towards the other direction before initiating the, the hook shot. So in this case, you'll see LeBron fake towards the middle of the basket. Here he is, he's faking towards the middle and then goes on a hook shot the opposite direction. And this is done by pressing and holding L2 and R2, and moving the right stick to a 1 o'clock position or an 11 o'clock position. Now, the next shimmies that you can execute are by pressing and holding L2 and R2, of course, and then holding the right stick at a 5 o'clock position or a seven o'clock position and these are your shimmy post shimmy fadeaways at the five o'clock position and at a seven o'clock position so those are your basic uh, post shimmy shots your post hook ship and your post fadeaway and another thing you have to realize from these moves is that at any point you can stop and initiate your up and unders and how you execute your up and unders is by first executing a fake and then pressing square multiple times so it's no different from the up and unders I taught in the shooting tutorial um, you want to make sure that before uh, you press square again before the shot animation ends after you fake and this gives you your up and unders and then when you decide to shoot just press and hold square so in this case if you want to execute the dream shake what you do is execute the post shimmy tap square again and then tap square again again execute the post shimmy that's your traditional dream shake so I will break this down one by one so pressing and holding L2 and R2 holding the right stick at a five o'clock position is your fake fake and then when you decide to shoot press and hold square so it's dip more I found it more difficult to execute the dream shake by doing the Pressing and holding uh, L2, R2, and the right stick at a 5 o'clock position. So how I execute the regime shake is by using the face 
face button and in this case I use square and how to execute a post shimmy using the square button is by basically pressing and holding L2 and R2 holding the left stick away from the basket at the diagonal direction and double tapping square tap square again to give you your second fake and then press and hold square when you want to take the shot so depending on which direction you want to fake you can execute a different set of up and unders so your your, your dream shakes are basically an extension of your up and unders Okay. Next, and uh, I should have thought this earlier probably, and these are your uh, launches out of the post. So let's say I'm posting up and I want to go to the baseline. One move I can execute is by uh, making a quarter circle turn towards the baseline. And that gives you a spin towards the baseline post up launch. A quarter circle turn towards the middle of the basket spins you towards uh, the, the middle of the lane for your driving opportunities. Okay. Again, while holding L2, a quarter circle turn towards the baseline gives you a spin towards the baseline. Holding L2, Quarter circle turn towards the middle gives you a spin launch, uh, a launch towards the middle. But you can also do this by pressing and holding L2 and R2. Okay. Holding the left stick towards the baseline and then letting go of L2. It gives you a baseline launch. Pressing and holding L2 and R2 while I'm holding the left stick to the right gives you a middle drive, a drive to the middle. So those are two different ways of launching. Again, quarter circle turn to the baseline. Quarter circle turn towards the basket. While holding L2 and R2, select the direction you want to go using the left stick. Then as you are about to launch, let go of L2 and that gives you a drive to the baseline. Or drive to the middle I think these controls are in the uh, control section and that's uh, the drive to the baseline or drive to the key so again these controls are there uh, it's very difficult to see how they're executed just by dictating the controls So the controls do a good job of showing you where you, what the inputs are, and uh, it gives you a diagram using the controller. So if any of this isn't clear, just go through the uh, go through the controls, and it's very helpful. And um, yeah, that's about it. I think for the post ups. Uh, you're gonna have, want to experiment with uh, what combos you can execute. So my favorite combos are using the pivot options and that's by holding, L again, holding L2 while flicking the left stick a certain direction. Not only does it give you opportunities to launch, but it's a good opportunity to create space. So if you're a Carmelo Anthony user, this is gonna be very effective because he likes to pivot, jab step, and then create shots from a face-up position. You also want to experiment because uh, you can execute these moves in, uh, in combinations. And that's how I play 2K basically, executing these moves in combinations. As you can see here, one of the combos that I like is from a post-up position. Okay, Drive towards the middle, but then I can execute a shimmy that's that's putting it together so the four basic videos i did initially are videos that teach you the basics but you can all put this together as you can see here i drive to the middle but i don't end there
for example again I want to pivot jab step explode then execute a spin jump shot and there you have it um, these are the four basics I started with the triple threats second series was the dribbling the third series was shooting and the fourth series which in my opinion is uh, an underrated uh, area where 2k excels is the post-ups so learn all these basics and combine everything together it's going to be very helpful so uh, to the next one i'm going to do more advanced a series of tutorials and um, one thing that i'm getting a lot of feedback on is learning how to use these moves and where to use them so i'll dive deeper into that series next so uh, thanks for all your comments and for all your feedback i hope you found this helpful and uh, yeah just keep on playing with the sticks in freestyle practice uh, to the next one peace